Hi there folks, welcome to Dunsey's Guitar World. Welcome to another quick guitar lesson. And as you can see, I have my Harley Benton 3 pickup SG output jack fixed. I took the quick and easy method, I just put longer screws in and it holds fine. So anyway, Cheap Trick, one of my favourite bands. So much so, at one point in time I was in a Cheap Trick tribute band called Cheapest Trick despite public demand. So this song is from the second album in colour. It's called O oh Caroline. Now the good news here is there's only three chords in this whole song. Listen to Rick Nielsen. This next song has three chords. D minor, A minor and G minor. See, told you, three chords. D minor, A minor, G minor. Dag. So, D minor. Play the intro first. As you can see, I have one camera there, one camera there. So I can speak to you in the camera and I can play on the other camera. I don't know if that's good or bad, to be perfectly honest. So I'll play the intro first and I'll play it slowly. So it's all bar chords, I play with bar chords. When I mean, you watch the videos of the band, they both Robin and Rick play with the bar chords. So it's just a D minor bar chord, um, fifth fret of the A string, seventh fret of the D string, seventh fret of the G string, sixth fret of the B string, and fifth fret of the top E string. And then the A minor. Basically you just go across the strings, it's the 5th fret of the E, 7th fret of the A, 7th fret of the D, 5th um, fret of the G, and 5th fret of the B, and top E as well. And then the G, you just move that down to full notes. So it's... Now the way I count it is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, if that makes sense. And that's the first part of it. So after it does two of them, it sticks on the G. So it's the same one, two, three, one, two, three, four, but this time it's from the G. One on the A minor, and then the last beats are on the D minor. And the final part of the intro, this time it starts on the A, the A minor. Same count again. So I'll play the whole thing again, slowly. rhythm guitar over the intro. Now there's a lead solo over the intro. It starts up on the 12th fret. It's basically in uh, D pentatonic. So, I'll play that slowly. We're on the 12th fret of the D and B strings. Bend it up. Back down. Catch the 10th fret of the G string. 
and then the 12th fret of the D string. Again. And then the same first two notes again. Again to the 10th fret of the G string. This time you bend the 13th fret of the B string, that's C, up to the D. So play that second part. Bit of vibrato there. So those two parts. And you play the same thing again. And then for the third part, when you're bending up the 13th fret of the B string, let it down, bend by hit and bend back up again. And for those bent, catch the 13th fret of the B string. So you're bending up the 13th fret of the B. When it's bent up there, catch the 13th fret of the top B, the top E, sorry, top E. And then lay the 13th fret of the B string down and back up again. Maybe sounds complicated, but I'll play it slowly. Hope that makes sense. So I'll play those first three parts. Let it down, bend up again. So that's the 13th fret of the B bending up, and when you let it down, you trill off to the 10th fret of the B string. Hammer back on to the 13th fret of the B, back to the 10th fret of the B. Again, I'll do it slowly. So play that part up to where we are. And once more. down to the 5th fret and the first thing we play down there is we play the 7th fret of the B and G strings, bend them up, down again and then catch the 5th fret of the G and B strings and then the 7th fret of the D string. So play the first part. slide the 5th fret, so the 7th fret, you're already playing on the D string, and you also hit the 5th fret, 2 frets below of the G string, and then move that whole thing down, 2 notes. So you're following with the rhythm guitar, plays the rhythm guitar, playing the A minor, A minor, and then G minor, so you're following those chords. And you finish that with the 5th fret of the A string, 3rd fret of the D string, part of a D chord. So you're just following those chords. Right, so I'll play that whole thing slowly. And 
and again very slowly. a lead in the rhythm parts for O Caroline. What I'll do to assist you here is I'll play a few times around the intro just on the rhythm part and you can solo along till your heart's content and uh, just for practice. So slowly one, two, three, four. <laughs> reasonably slowly. One, two, three, four. So as for the rest of the tune, as Rick said, it just goes around those three chords, D minor, a minor and G minor. Probably the best thing to do is I'll put a link up here to my cover that I did of the song and if you watch that it will show you the order that the chords go in. I mean it's basically pretty much the same as the intro and it's just around those DAG chords D minor, A minor and G minor. But it does start on the G minor. What I'll do is I'll play through a verse so you can hear what it sounds like a verse and then the bridge. So it starts in the G minor and there's a lot of palm muting. solo part, the first part of the lead solo over that, a little bit of the intro there. And then back into the verse, again starting on the G minor. Now sometimes when Rick plays this you can see him playing a D minor, first position chord, and he plays it like this, from the G to the D. Playing the D minor, including the F on the first fret of the top E string, then he's taking that off, hammering back on. But we're still hitting the open D and the second fret of the G string. Back to the G. Now the bridge part I've been playing, the rhythm guitar goes like this. So it's the A, the G, to the D. Now what Rick plays on the guitar, he plays this the first thing. So that's like octaves from the 3rd fret of the A string and the 5th fret of the G string. Move that up to and then back down. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. So I'll play that in context. And 
And then in the bridge in the second verse, he plays it slightly different. He plays it like this. Again, this octave starting on the third fret of the A string, fifth fret of the G string, up to. But then you go up to the eighth fret of the A and the tenth fret of the G. Play it slowly. I'll play that in context, as I say, that's a bridge in the second verse. Just stops in a D chord. Twice. Back into the bridge. Now the only other part of the tune is the lead guitar at the very end, which is rhythm guitar is just putting the intro again, but the lead guitar is putting this over the top of it. Doing is playing the 12th fret of the G and the 10th fret of the G, and then bend the 12th fret of the G up, pull off to the 10th fret of the G, and then bend the C, which is the 13th fret of the B string, up to the D, like you did at the beginning basically. And then the second time. So it's the same first part, and then these octaves. So it's these octave chords, it's the 10th fret of the A string, and then two frets in front on the G string. Now I'll just, I'll just say the note on the, the A string, but every note you're playing on the G string is two in front of that. 10, 8, 5, 3, Back to five. This seals octave chords. So I'll play that whole one, whole outro on the lead guitar. Finish on the E chord. Now when you hear the live version, they do a bit of the Yardbirds' "Heart Full of Soul." They're obviously huge fans of the Yardbirds, and quite rightly so. So there you go, a guitar lesson for O'Canneling by Cheap Trick. Uh, I hope that I hope I explained that enough. I mean, there's not a lot in it. As, as we said at the beginning, as Rick Nielsen said at the beginning of this video, there's only three chords in this, D minor, A minor, and G minor. And it's really just a case of working out how they go. The cover version, as I said, I'll put a link down below. The cover version I did of it, We'll explain a bit more, you could slow that down and just play along with that. It's in standard tuning as well. Nothing tricky here in terms of tuning. So there you go. I do I do appreciate you tuning in folks. If you have any questions about this lesson or indeed any questions about anything else, unless it's about my bank balance or what age I am, I will answer them as best I can. Thank you very much. Cheers for now.